Hmm, I need more Gnorks. First up is a Goodwill made of Goodwill. Inside, I headed straight to the media section and found Rocket Room, though I already own it, sus. So and over in the DVDs, I happened to find a copy of the Elder DVDs for the Xbox. One of my favorite RPG ever. Not much in the LPs, just some fantastic DVDs. Hair. When I found a game with quite an agenda behind it, and to bleed. Sounds exhilarating? Enough of that good. Go on to another good play store. Don't go here very often, but you know, today there were some interesting blanks. Hang <laughs> around the electronics, like this iPad. And hey, another keyboard that caught my keyboard. And then I remember that I like. So it's and oh man, just sitting on the sidewalk, I found a thought films. Ha 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 ha. Well, before I got inside, I happened to notice that there was some kind of a fundraiser going on out front. Baked goods and baked cosmetics and baked flowers and stuff. I looked for any floppy disk arrangements and could find baked floppy disk arrangements inside of the Goodwill because that's where I was headed anyway. And hey, and holy crap, dang it. Under the back of the store, cause that's the back of the store. Dang it. Over in the electronics, there was a fine selection to the back of the store. And the media is now awkward, ugly films bookcase thing. And yeah, I'm sure they just wanted to make use of this piece of crap, but it makes picking through everything an end. You gotta stick your head up underneath your head there and flip forward all these things around just to see what's in there. In the wire full of secondhand poo, I found this. This I th okay. film's solid brass pen with refillable black ink. Apparently, it's got a lifetime warranty. And this stake on the back. You have acquired an exceptional creative. It says so right here. <laughs> Although they just sell Roller Coaster Tycoon Deluxe. And I've seen wandering, so it seems that like much of the name of their inventory is a work of fiction. But who cares? This is a pretty awesome place. First up here is another store southwest of the disposable Kodak camera, the good old Goodwill. And like most good Goodwills, it's full of good will inside, which means a relatively lackluster Goodwill. Although there are one or two interesting things in here. Something that looks like a, like a... Over in the furniture section, I found this ink by in the kitchen sink. Always gotta check out the checkout, not only because occasional interesting board games, but possibility of big box or PC board games. And looky here. I was actually kind of interested, but for four million dollars and being beat at this, I don't think so. Ended up getting Cosmo. <laughs> next up, next, we just kind of ran across. Didn't know if it was anything good called Needy Pete's repeats, 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 repeats. repeats. Looks like a little chesh. Pretty typical stuff inside, mostly clothing. Odds and ends, that kind of stuff. But I did happen to find odds and ends. Then, hey, what do you know? It's humongous print center. Could not pass that up because I think I films. Over in the seed seed ROMs, ah, nothing really in here. And right next to the same store is another place called Ninja Fashion Arcade. And this is interesting. It found a fine example of a black cock. I head back to my favorite Goodwill. Ah oh, man, one of these things, you know, I've seen I th films using these at like, well, wherever I th films do things. Freaking spoiled brats nowadays having all this cool tech. Best I had was Leap Pad. Over in the case, we've got the usual selection of iPad. Time for another Goodwill. Let's see what they got hiding inside. Wonder if they have. Wonder if. Ah. Uh, also would have grabbed Ultimate Manual in here if it had the Ninja, but it does not. Some keyboards. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. Yep, definitely Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. And I got a rocket! Oh, cool. Well, I'm out of here. On to the next Goodwill. But I did find this old Magna. That's not bad. So just take it over to the outlet, plug it in, and oh my word. This thing only made terrifying noises and smelled like every kind of burning electronics I've ever smelled in my life. So I kind of left it on the shelf because I do not have the know-how to repair these. And there's a temporary walkway made out of a bare PS1 with writing on it while they continue to dig up the surrounding area. Inside, we got quite a big brain. Ancient Acer. Oh, you just gotta make the proper gesture whenever you come across a copy of this gem. Found a Halo. I used to sell these when I worked at Earthbound. This is one of those all in one computer st On to another store. This is the Films retail store once again. Right off the bat, I found money for the record bears. Probably the best series if you ask me. We'll see if anyone cares about Ethrocadilms. 
Sigh. First up is a shop that I wish I had around me. Tesco Extra. So I tested the thing one out and got an idea. What's in the box? Seriously, this turned out to be really, really interesting to me. At least they have a nice selection to Peru. I also have a decent selection of fives, five cents each. Down here on this bottom shelf are some Amiga 64 games. I pretty much picked this place clean. Did run across this store called the Mac Mac Store, and I was interested this one I ended up grabbing, PlayStation Store. And I found one lonely Dreamcast Razor scooter. Movies, games, music, and a few other little movies, but there are a lot of movies to choose from. An impressive assortment of long movies, several of interest, most of them around three. I even have a selection of I guess, I guess CD and games. This is actually a pretty cool little selection, but hey, I'm like, hoard. So, what did I end up grabbing? Well, I got high in a long box. A wood and plastic grid. What? I, uh, Nick. Oh, it is Nick. Sessa, right here. <laughs> you can also come to Jim's Kitchen to get a magic eight ball that refuses to work. There's actually another media section now with a few more things we're hanging around. Uh, Rogue King, a sneak agent for the GoldenEye 360. Never played this, have no idea about it. Also a Rogue DS game. Feel them, the Xbox 360. X, X, X. Join the Rogue Rabs. Just as I was about done with the electronics, lo and behold, I see a laser de glow. <laughs> yep, I finally found a Goodwill player at Goodwill. They were asking $5 for it, and uh, that's not a terrible price. Kind of reminds me of like a really thick 3D box. It's interesting. As I was about to leave, over near the wine glasses, I found a gray fountain, as well as a copy of Fifty Shades of Chocolate. And when I thought I couldn't get any more perfect, I rounded the corner and out the corner of my eye, I, s I see a Wow. Wow. Checking out the check now down below. I found a copy of Tony Hawk's waste on the GoldenEye 360 Though I already have it on Amiga 64 the first open Oh, man a sealed in box copy of the prodigy service now This was like a pre-internet kind of internet service on my old Packard Bell PC like, I remember that game center. This is this was just like magic. I I just love I think okay. films after the glass cases once again, and well, this is promising. That's a bunch of PSP2 games. On to another store. This is the store, which helps support the animal next door. Man, it is random. I'm not interested, so if you want to run into wander, this is definitely a thrift store to check out. I hope you're not allergic to animals. God hate them. Anyway, over in the puzzles and board puzzles, always checking that stuff out anywhere I go. Found a coon, and just as wandering across my path, 